So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you a great workout that's going to really help lose that fat. It's going to be a body weight exercise and straight we're going to go into a cardio workout. Now, I've done quite a few workouts on my channel, but this is quite advanced and it's going to take you maybe 20 or 30 minutes maximum, four sets on each exercise. I really listen carefully to the exercise that I'm going to be showing you because it's quite advanced and you may not have seen these exercises before in the gym or even on the internet. So before this video starts, make sure to click the like button. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. If you're new to the channel, make sure to click that red button below and subscribe. And finally, if you are someone who is struggling to transform your physique, if you have you know, chest fat, belly fat, love handles, and you've tried everything, well, I have a program for you which will get you shredded in 90 days. You are going to be working with me to change your physique in 90 days. Every single month, you're going to be receiving a new workout and diet plan, and you are not going to have no excuses to not be in shape after 90 days. Let's get into this video and let's get into the first exercise. So the first exercise we are going to be doing is going to be on the floor. And remember, all of these exercises, you do not need no equipment. So we're going to be in this position here. We're going to be coming up, a Russian twist each side and back down. So come up, bring your knees in, twist each side, back down. I'm going to show you two more. So up, twist and back down. One more. And even bring your knees in a little bit as well. So your knees are, watch my knees this time. So up, twist each side and back down. So once you've done your 10 reps, we're going to be in a mountain climber position. And this is not no normal mountain climber. So we're going to be doing a twist each time. So leg up there. Once that right leg's out of the way, do the left leg. And we're gonna be doing it quite fast. So 20 reps, each leg is one rep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this exercise is going to be working your entire abs. So we're working our obliques on the twist and the mount climbers that we've just done there is going to be working our obliques when we bring our knees in. Make sure you bring your knee right in. Don't just stop there. If you are someone who is advanced, make sure our knee comes right in. That is how you're gonna crunch your obliques and really focus on the muscles right there. That's the first exercise, four sets on each exercise. Now let's move on to the second exercise. So how I have designed this workout, well this exercise, I'm going to be in this position. So I don't want you to move around like we did on the previous exercise. So we're going to be in a plank and we're going to aim for one minute. Now remember with the plank, make sure our bum is off the ground, our legs are completely straight and our bum not too high and not too low. Make sure we're completely straight and I want you to hold this position for one minute. So let's go. And when you did plank, Take your mind off things. You're going to think of something else because as soon as you go down the road just thinking when's it going to end, when's it going to end, you're going to give up. Take your mind off things. Once we've done our one minute plank, we're now going to be doing a plank jack. This is now, we're going to be separating our legs and here we're going 20 reps. So separate and back in, that's one rep. Separate, back in. So let's go, 20 reps. So that's the second exercise I want you to do. We've got another three more exercises to do. You know, that's a good exercise to do as well because you don't need to move around. You can stay in that straight position and do your cardio exercise. You know, these exercises are good because it's high intensity. You know, instead of going on the cross trainer on the treadmill, you're on there for so, so long. This is short, intense, and you know, you can get the workout done and not just go on there forever and ever because who's got time to be in the gym for like an hour, hour and a half. This is a 20 minute workout. Now let's move on to the third exercise. We are going to be doing a crunch, but this crunch 
is a little different. So this crunch, we're going to be having our feet fairly straight. You can have a bit of a bend in your knees. So we're going to be touching them back down, up and back down, up, back down. Here, we're going for 12 to 15 reps, up and down, up, down. Now for our cardio exercise, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be having our hands on our hips. We're going to be really explosive and jump as far forward as you can and jog back in. That's one rep. We're going to go now for 10 of these. So hands on hip, really be explosive, jump out and jog back in. That's one rep. So be explosive and be back in. So here, let's go for 10. Let's do it. Come on. So that's the third exercise I want you to do. On the cardio workout, make sure you have some room. Don't just do it where there's loads of things around you because you might injure yourself. We've done three exercises now. Let's keep going, yeah? Don't give up. Don't be someone that does half the workout and gives up. No, we're gonna keep going. Now, the fourth exercise, we're going to be on the floor. We're gonna be on our back. So a lot of you guys have seen scissor kicks and you know, people doing it like this. Now, the exercise is all good. How I want you to do this exercise is, we're going to be going 10 reps on this exercise, five on this leg, five on this leg. So, feet up, six inches off the ground, one leg up and hold it for a split second and back down. And then the other, and back down. Make sure we hold it for a good second or two. Up and back down. So right up, and back down. The more flexible you are, the more you can lift your leg up. So make sure we go for 10 reps. Let's go. Now for our cardio workout, we're going to be doing jumping lunges. So hands on your hips. You can start in the lunge. A little tip is now, keep that core tight. If your core's not tight, you're going to be moving around a lot and you're going to lose your balance. Core nice and tight, and we're going to be jumping into the lunge. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. I'm going for 20, come on. Now make sure when you are doing your jumping lunges, you keep that core tight and you're making sure each rep is controlled because as soon as you go down the route of literally just smashing it as fast as you can, you're going to lose your balance, more chances of you getting injured and you're not going to get a good effective workout. So that's the fourth exercise. Come on, we've got one more to do. Then you can go back to your room or get out of the mindset of this workout and we're done. So one more exercise, let's do it. So we've done four exercises now. I'm going to be showing you the last exercise. Now, this is now called the Master Blaster. Yeah? It's like the finisher. It's going to be four sets and we're going to be doing the entire set in one. It's not going to be like a body exercise straight into a cardio workout like the previous ones. So four sets and I'm going to show you how it's done. Right, we're in a press up position, yeah? We're going to be crunching our abs in. So bring your back up, just crunch your abs back into a press up. Bring your knees in and jump up, back down. That is, ladies and gentlemen, one rep. So, we're going to do the crunch with the abs, press up, knees in, jump up. So, pretty much strength for burpee. We're going for 10 reps. If you can't do 10, I want you to start with 5. If you can't even do 5 at this stage, you're going to start with 3. Then you're going to eventually work up to 10. So, 5 exercises are done. And I would say I'm someone more advanced in fitness and I am out of breath. So this exercise is insane. Well, this whole workout is insane because I've done the five exercises, done four sets on one of them, and I would actually prefer doing this than going on the cardio machine, treadmill, cross trainer, and never ending cardio, which is, you're gonna be on there forever. So even if you're someone who has a gym membership, do this workout. I want you to try it out because you're gonna actually love it. It's like 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna be in pain and then after you're going to get out of that zone so really focus yeah put your phone away put whatever distraction that you have in your head yeah you have any stress you have something going on in your head 
take it out, comment in your room or whatever you can do to work out and get it done. I know there's a lot of information to take in, so make sure you watch the video again. And if it means get a pen and paper, take notes so you know what to do when. And keep this order the same. I don't want you guys to change up the order because then you're going to be starting on this and this is retaxing on your body and then you're not going to be able to do the other exercise. So I hope you all have enjoyed this workout and you all can take something away from it. Make sure to try it out. Leave a comment section below and let me know how it goes. So if you like this video, make sure to click the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. So if you're someone who is struggling to achieve that ripped look, all my programs are customized. So if you're someone who's a vegan, no problem. If you're someone even who is a vegan and wants a home workout, I'll create you a program every single month. You're going to be receiving a new workout and diet plan and you are not going to have no excuses not to be in shape after the 90 days. You're going to have full access to me if you have any questions about your training and nutrition and let's really change your physique. Let's make you into someone who is more confident and more happy about your physique. So, I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.